welcome to iPhone New Zealand. Um, in the post uh, today we have received our new iPad 3G so we thought we'd uh, we'd take a look at it and uh, uh, unbox it for you. Now um, this is the 16 gig version as you can see here okay um, and it's come from um, from the States not uh, Australia. So we'll get into this and uh, and start unboxing it. So I've already taken the cellophane wrapping off the outside and there's the 3G iPad there. I'll just take that out. So there's the iPad in the uh, in the wrapping. And uh, you can see that this is the uh, the 3G version because of the uh, black bar that runs across the top here. But otherwise, um, it's just the same as the the Wi-Fi version. So that's the iPad. In the box, um, you get your USB cable and also the the uh, the charger. Now this is the uh, the US. Um, prongs uh, and, and you can just swap those out with, with the one from say your iPhone and I'd actually probably do that anyway if you're going to use the same charger um, because this is a, a more powerful charger than, than the one on your iPhone so I'll put that to one side inside uh, inside this packaging here um, you've got uh, the user guide um, a couple of stickers and um, the sim eject tool just there. In the side here, this is where we um, where the micro sim goes. And so we just pop the eject tool in, and out comes the micro sim. So here's the micro sim. So we take it out of there. And just to show you the difference, here is a uh, regular 3G SIM, like so, and that just sits around about there when you cut it up, and we'll, we'll do that uh, right now. So to do the uh, to do the cut up um, from the website, I've downloaded the the template, and you can do that just by going to iPhoneNewZealand.co.nz. Uh, doing a search for micro sim and you'll get the template come up when you download it print it at 100% uh, and uh, then you can cut cut the template out so what we do is we'll just go ahead and uh, cut that out Now, when you're uh, when you're doing this, um, yeah, you do need to be careful how you're cutting and where you're cutting. Um, but just as long as you're using a, uh, a sharp pair of scissors, then uh, you shouldn't have any problems. So we've cut that out, and already on the back of here, I've got some uh, double-sided tape. So just stick that. onto the back like so. So that's now oops, stuck on the back and we can go ahead and, and uh, cut the SIM card. So as I say, just a nice pair of uh, sharp scissors will do the trick. And when you're cutting, you want to try and make sure you um, you, you round your edges off if you can. Um, otherwise, you'll, you'll have to do it afterwards if you if you can't. So for this one here, I'll just cut the straight line, and then I'll I'll round those edges off um, afterwards. And I'll just trim some off the edges. And last one, like so. And so there we go. I can peel that off, 
and now I have a telecom micro sim and then um, all we do is we just sit it in place and we check that it fits and that fits in there just nicely and then uh, we can go ahead and we can slide it back into the iPad so I'll just move these bits and pieces out of the way so so that just slides into the side there like so and then we switch it on now the first time you switch it on it will ask you to um, connect it to iTunes so we'll uh, go ahead and we'll, we'll plug our cable in Here comes the micro sim so once you've uh, uh, put your sim card in uh, and you've connected up your cable you hook your cable uh, into the iPad and it, when you switch it on it asks you to uh, connect to iTunes with its uh, usual uh, logo and then um, once you've done that it shows up in iTunes just takes a second to, uh, to come up and then once that comes up Go to the store. We can then go ahead and uh, set this up as a. I'll set this up as a new iPad for now because um, that's a sync of my old Wi-Fi one. And we'll uncheck these. And it does a quick sync, and then you're done. So that's now set up, ready to use. And so what we want to do is we want to add our network settings and, uh, and add the, the carrier logo. So to do that, we just go to the, to, the, to the website and we can go ahead and download our carrier bundle. Now this is the 313 carrier bundle, but it does work on the, on the iPad. And once it's downloaded, we just extract it. And that's connected up. So we just do an option, oops, option check for update. And we go and grab our, our IPCC file and that will say updating the iPad. And now when we bring the iPad back in, you can see here it's got the XT logo. And if we go into settings, and network, uh, sorry, and cellular data, and go to the APN settings. You can see that the internet .telecom .codex is already there. So that's setting up the uh, the iPad um, 3G, and uh, just to show that it's uh, it's working there with that telecom micro sim. We can go. And go to the website. So here we go. And there's the site there. as I say um, it goes pretty quick so and this is over over 3G not over Wi-Fi so that's the iPad 3G um, with an XT microsim